Hallelujah, glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Always my absolute pleasure to come to you with prophetic messages from the Lord. I always feel privileged to be in this position where I get to um, you know, tell you the mind of God or to give you prophetic instructions as the case may be. God bless you. Thank you for stopping by. Hallelujah. This prophetic word, someone is coming to you and they are determined. Nothing can stop them. Someone is coming to you and they are determined. Nothing can stop them. Please check to see if you already subscribed to this channel. If not, go ahead and touch that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever there is a prophetic word, you will not miss out. Or whenever we are live praying, you are going to receive notifications because we come on live at least once every day to pray and press on the word that God has given so that answers come speedily. Hallelujah. God bless you. When people make up excuses, it's because they are not determined. When people give you reasons why they cannot do certain things, it's because they have not made up their mind. When you make up your mind concerning something, nothing can stop you. You know the people, who, um, the story of the Torah of Babylon, those people, they came together and they decided to build a Torah that would lead to heaven. And... You, we all know heaven is not a physical location. Heaven is a spiritual location. But these people, they, they came together and they said they wanted to build a door that would lead to heaven. And they mobilized themselves. They mobilized their workforce. And they got to work and they started building. Now, God said... If we do not go down and stop these people, they are going to succeed. They will come up here and meet us. And it, it beats my imagination because I'm like, God, heaven is not a physical location. It's not a place you get to physically. It's a spiritual place because it's he if heaven were to be physical, you know, when you are flying, you go right up. There's 3,000 and people who have used um, rockets to go into space. No one has told us they saw heaven. Because heaven is a spiritual location and not a physical location. But God said, if we do not stop these people, they are going to come. They are going to build this tower to heaven. Why? Because they had so much determination. They had a goal and they were united in their mind and they decided to do it. One thing I have learned is when people make excuses is because they truly don't want to do the things that they have to do or maybe you are asking them to do. When someone wants to is determined to get something done they will go under and above to make it happen and nothing will be able to stop them and this person is coming for you and believe me they have made up their mind and nothing will stop them no one nothing sometimes what 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 um what st stands as a barrier between us and maybe our destiny help us or us and people that are supposed to be in our lives is that there are many obstacles maybe religion maybe age maybe a uh, 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 um, nationality you know there are several things that could stand as a hindrance between you and someone that want that has to be in your life and if if the people are not resolute and determined, they are going to use all of that as excuses to bail out on you. But someone who is determined, who wants to do it, is going to knock off all those excuses. I have another example. There was a man that was paralyzed. And Jesus was in this certain house having a meeting. And probably there was a lot of population and they shut the door and people could no longer gain access into the place. But this paralyzed man had a group of friends that really wanted him to be healed. They really wanted him to be able to walk again, to be fine again. And there was really no access to get into where Jesus was. Do you know what they did? 
I know many of us know, but for the benefit of those who do not know the story, the Bible says these men, they climbed off the roof and opened the roof, lowered the paralyzed man from the roof. And when Jesus saw this, he said, I mean, he was marveled at the fate of his friends. They were determined. They were not ready to take no for an answer. They had reasons to tell. Maybe if they were just doing it to please their friend, they had reasons to tell him, you can see, we do not have passage into the room where Jesus is. So because of that, we cannot, you know, go further. But they refused to give an excuse. They decided to do whatsoever it takes to get their friend healed and well again. And when Jesus saw their faith, he could not say no. One man of God preached and he said, if your faith says yes, even God cannot say no. I know this is a controversial statement because people are going to say, no, God is the ultimate. If God says no, no one can say yes. But the man is preaching from a place of revelation. God says, I will bring to pass the actions that are propelled by your faith. It means if, if, you, are, if you are determined to do something, you can do it. And someone is about to come into your life. They are going to break barriers. They will break, you know, culture. They will break religion. They will break societal stereotypes and segregation. They will break every known barrier that stands between you and them because they are determined to be in your life. So the next time someone tells you, I can't do this because of X, Y, Z, they are just giving you excuses. If they truly want to do it, they are going to do it. I always tell a friend of mine, I tell them, I know you and I know how determined you are about doing certain things. You can't tell me you could not do this because you were not able to do it. If you did not do it, it's because you did not think it was necessary or important. Because when you want to do something, you will stop at nothing to accomplish it. Don't let people give you those flimsy excuses. Don't let people tell you, I cannot do this because of this and this and that. Don't let people tell you that. If they truly want to do it, they are going to do it. And the good news is that someone is coming for you. And this person will stop at nothing. Nothing is going to stop them. They are going to come and do what they have to do in your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you.